Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to learn about imaginary numbers. What is an imaginary number? Well, it's a number that doesn't exist. And you think, why do we even have to deal with that? Well, because in math, they like things to look pretty. So therefore, we have to learn ways to make things look pretty that look ugly. So, imaginary numbers. I equals radical negative 1. That's all you got to remember, okay? So, you'll use the letter I in any case when you want to represent radical negative 1. You think, why do you need to know that? I told you, I want to look pretty. Now, shortcuts real quick. I. If you have I squared, what is that the same as? That's the same as square root of negative 1 squared, which is the same as, since those cancel out, negative 1. So I squared equals negative 1. Just in case you ever see it. You won't right now, but we're going to focus on this. Remember, I equals negative 1. Alright, so let's let's put that right there and let's get going. That's better. Okay, so let's say you have something like radical negative 25. Okay? Now, you right off the bat know that the four numbers that you're really looking for are 4, 9, 16, and 25. The reason is because the square root of 4 is 2, square root of 9 is 3, square root of 16 is 4, square root of 25 is 5. The reason is we always want to get factors of these right here because they're our money maker numbers. We want to get factors of those so that we can break stuff out of square root jail. Jail. That's a guy who's in jail. I live here. Be quiet, dude. Okay, so to get him out of square root jail, we would try to break it down to one of these numbers, like 4. Square root of 4, what does that equal to? 2. Therefore, we can make it look prettier. Like I said, math people are always really pretty, and they like things to look really pretty. So, let's look at this one. You cannot get a square root of a negative, because nothing times itself is going to be a negative. Does that make sense? You can't have a negative under the radical because it can't get out. It's stuck in jail forever. It does no get out of jail free card. Okay? Because you can't to get something out of square root, you gotta say, well, what times itself equals this? Like what times itself equals four? Well, two does. Nothing times itself is gonna equal a negative number. So you can't get that to work out. So what we do is to make this look pretty, we get and split it up. Now, before we break it up, I want to remind you. Just like you do in, like, say you've got radical 12. You would split that up to radical 4 and radical 3. We do that so that we can make this 2 radical 3. But right here, this is the exact same as this. All we're doing is making it look different. Just like in, um, like, say you have 8. You could break that down to 4 times 2. Same thing, and you could always put it back into 8. Same thing here, we could always put that back into radical 12. We just want to simplify it, make it look prettier. Okay, it's like doing 8 over 12 and reducing that to 2 over 3. We want it to look prettier and simple, okay? Simplest radical form, that's what you're doing right here when you do this. What we're doing here is same thing, but to get rid of the negative, we've got to do the imaginary number thing. So, we're going to split it up the same way. Make that radical negative 1, radical positive 25. I didn't mean to make that line right there. All right. If I wanted, I could put those two back together. Multiply radical negative 1 times radical 25, and it would be negative 25. Radical negative 25. Same thing as we started with, but I don't want it to because I want to look pretty. What I know that turns into? I. What I know that turns into? 5. Now, just to make it look pretty, because we're not dealing with, you know, Mac processors, so we don't need I5, we would switch it around and make it 5I. Okay? That's just an alpha th alphabetical thing. All right, and that's pretty much what you do on it, okay? We can do one more example, just because you didn't ask for it. So, let's do one more. Let's say you've got, um, what's a good one, a simple one? Let's do radical 12. How's that? Split it up. You know that's radical negative 1. It's radical 12, okay? That turns into I. Can we split up 12? Yes. Radical 4, radical 3. Now, I is still there, 4 turns into positive 2, it's radical 3, we want it to look pretty, so we're just going to move the I to the other side here, so we 2I, radical 3. Now, sometimes you might end up with the I over here, we don't like that because um, sometimes that square root sign kind of looks over and it looks like it's going to cover it up, but this guy don't need no shelter, he wants to hang out and free in the front, okay? And that's how you do an imaginary number, like I. Thanks for showing up. Give me a subscribe and check out CoverCabin.com. Pizza?
you heard the man. Check out DarkVerkAcademy.com. Check out the Facebook, Twitter. If you can, take a picture of it and send it to me. It's hard to try to text it out. Just send a picture. We also got an app in the iPhone and iPad store, and you can check out the other YouTube channel. Bye-bye.